Guys, I have a theme song. <laughs> I'm moving on up. I have to tell you the person who gave me guidance for creating that little stinger was Sarah of Better Off Red because I love hers so much. And I was like, how did you do that? And she walked me through it because she's basically an angel. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm, well, that was stupid. So I'm gonna smell like whiskey today. So today I am drinking Jameson Irish Whiskey Caskmates stout edition. This is Randy's favorite whiskey, period. And I have to say I'm a convert. I love it. It's got a smokiness, but just a little bit of a sweetness. It says that it accentuates the trademark smoothness of Jameson original with additional rich flavors of coffee, cocoa, and a gentle hint of hops. We've gone through this a little faster than we probably should have, but it's keto friendly. Any whiskey is, any liquor pretty much is keto friendly. It's a dangerous game, folks. So today's gonna be a chatty get ready with me, and I'm stoked because I am using a palette from Alter Ego. This is a company that I've actually never used their products before. I obviously have been living under a rock. Alter Ego was kind enough to send me three of their best selling palettes and guys. I'm going to try to use all of these in upcoming videos because they are stunning. Name. They sent me their Temptress palette, they sent me their Sahara palette, and they sent me their Daydream palette. Can we just talk about this packaging? It is just amazing. And I don't know which one I'm going to use today. They're all amazing but I think I'm going to use their Sahara palette. If you guys don't know what Alter Ego is, they make incredible eyeshadow palettes that are like 16 to $18. And the quality to me is that of Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is so satisfying. I mean, it feels like butter. It's this really nice, smooth matte. And then you open it up, the inside is matte as well. You have a really nice substantial mirror up here and you can see this is browns, nudes, really gorgeous colors for fall. And then you have some really beautiful metallics. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna do something good cause I'm into it. So this retails for $16 and I'm gonna link everything down below, but Alter Ego was kind enough to provide my subscribers with a discount code. So that is Kate10 and you can enter that at checkout and you will get 10% off of your order. So I'm just gonna take you through like my whole routine and we're just gonna chat it up and I'm gonna try not to get drunk. I already prepped my skin with my daily skincare and then I used my Touch In Soul Glassy Skin Balm. This has been giving me the most amazing base for makeup. Like today I did a really light skin polish so my skin is nice and smooth. Then I went over it with this and it's like baby's ass fill. So I've been trying out this new product from Becca. This is the Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I think it was a bonus product that BoxyCharm sent me. You know, I get a lot of questions about under eye stuff. How do I get my concealer to set well under my under eye? How do I not get raccoon eyes? I think this is really great. Whenever I wear this, I feel like extra secure. It's very much like a light balm and I just pat it on and I also actually do my lid as well because <laughs> getting some creasing up there little crepey crepins. So I'm going to mix two foundations. This has been my everyday foundation routine since I've gotten back to the city. I'm going to mix my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer with my Fenty Pro Filter. This has been a godsend because I can't wear this by itself. It's just way too heavy. It's way too cakey. I just for me, it's just not really it. But if I mix something really nice and hydrating in with it, it is the Goldilocks situation. So I talked about this with my video that I did with Risa Does Makeup. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation is basically a dupe for the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that is like my holy grail tinted moisturizer. But if you don't wanna pay those kind of dollars, go get yourself some pretty fresh because this is amazing and can't say enough. Also, I know I mentioned this in a favorites video, this sponge, which doesn't look very pretty right now, but this sponge is amazing. It's made by Illuminati and I like it better than a beauty blender. It feels different. It feels more velvety and matte. And for some reason it just, 
sets my foundation perfectly and so quickly. Guys, remember when I did my first live stream and literally in the first minute, I didn't know what I was doing and I had to shut it down, delete it and start another one. Also remember when there was like a chainsaw massacre happening outside my window? I had subscribers reach out to me after that live stream and legitimately ask me if they should be worried. No, no, just another day in New York. Someone angrily stomping on glass and revving up their chainsaw. And just so you know, I am using this as my concealer too. You can do that. There's no rule. Like you can use foundation as concealer. I actually learned that from a makeup artist when I was at NARS on Madison Avenue one day. I do it all the time, almost every day. And it looks great. I had such a fun time doing that live stream. It was like being shot out of a cannon. And so I just wanted to announce to you guys that I am making it a weekly thing. I'm going to do a weekly live stream that's happy hour with Kate where we just hang out. I answer your questions. We have drinks. I might have more cheese. Maybe not because I think I had too much that night and I really felt like trash the next day. Might not be on the same night every week because my schedule kind of changes around, but believe you me, I will be announcing it ahead of time so you know when it is. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, that's a great way to keep up to date on that. Um, my Instagram is down below. It's just Kate the Great Beauty and I always announce it over my stories and everything like that. So definitely follow me on Instagram. So now I'm going to do some cream blush and I'm pulling out my cloud paint in haze. This is actually a shade that I didn't take with me on the ship. I don't know why. I came back and I had forgotten about it and I forgot how much I loved it. It's this really gorgeous berry shade. It's cool. You can blend it with your fingers if you want. You can also use a brush. This is the e.l.f. small stipple brush, which I find works really well for just quickly blending cream blush really evenly. Oh, got some extra. Let's use it on my lips. So now I'm going to set that with my Glossier Wouter. This is a very sheer setting powder, but I like to use it, especially in the winter. I can't really get away with it as much in the summer in New York because it's super humid, but it's perfect in the winter. No cake no nothing like that. Another thing I've had people ask me is why is it so warm in my apartment? Like what's that about? I live in a post-war apartment building in New York City in Harlem and we can't control our heat. Like I have a radiator and that's all I got and I can't turn it off. So whenever they, they being, I don't know who the hell it is, I guess my super, whenever they decide that they need to turn the heat on, that's when we all just heat the hell up. And I am not a person who likes to be warm. Also it should be noted that there's just not a lot of crosswind going on here. Like there's no airflow. So it's literally just stagnant air. I have my window wide open right now and I'm already sweating my ass off. So if you can control your own heat, well, good for you because I can't. And that actually keeps me from wearing like a lot of sweaters and like chunky things when I film because no matter how cold it is outside, they've got the heat pumped up and then I'm just like sweaty in a turtleneck, which is something that nobody wants. So I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Setting Powder. I like to set my under eyes with this just to really make sure they're set so I don't get those raccoon eyes. Now I'm going to go in and do my brows and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. So what have you guys been watching this fall? I'm just so excited to be back home and stream anything I want. That is exhilarating. On the ship, you could just watch whatever you had downloaded, essentially. Just feel like the world is at my fingertips. So I started watching Mrs. Fletcher. Have you guys seen it? It's on HBO. It stars Katherine Hahn, who I am a huge fan of. I just think she is brilliant. I think she's a brilliant comedian. I think she's a great dramatic actress. She can really carry off the dramedy perfectly. My favorite thing that she ever did was I Love Dick, which I believe is on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should see it. It got canceled after one season. People were pissed that this show got canceled. I mean, it was so different. It was about this woman's awakening brought about partially by Kevin Bacon, who's basically an arts administrator in this sort of enclave artistic community called Marfa in Texas, which I, is a real place. I was just awestruck by her performance. It was really funny and very bold. And they're also super short episodes. I think they were like, 30 minutes a piece. And yes, the title is intentional because Kevin Bacon's name is Dick. Get your mind out of the gutter. <sighs> 
But anyway, so this is yet another uh, show where Katherine Hahn is just super horny, which seems to be a trend with the characters she plays. But you know what? She does it so well, and it's not just about that, so I'm okay with it. But as Randy said, holy typecasting, Batman. Now I'm going to take my Glossier Brow Flick. This is a product that has really grown on me ever since I watched Katie Jane Hughes. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you should, because she's an amazing makeup artist. Uh, I watched her use this in a video, and I was like, oh, that's how you do it. I get very scared to just draw in things that aren't there, but I basically use it to go over my pencil to really sort of darken and define. And then I really like the feathered brow look. I just go in and kind of pull up just a few times. I mean, I don't want to get crazy here. Yeah, I just feel like, I mean, look at the difference in those two brows. The feathered brow is a very ruffled, I woke up this way, but not really, I worked kind of hard at it look. Mm. Now we're going to get into the Sahara palette. Am I saying that right? Is it Sahara? Is it Sahara? I don't know. Potato, potato, whatever. So I'll just give you like a little bit better close up here of the palette. I'm first going to go in with Sands because that looks like the most neutral chill color in the palette. Oh, that is. That's actually a really good match to my lid. I love it when a palette has a shade that matches my lid because I like to just cover my whole lid in a neutral shade before going into other shades just to really even everything out and i also like to sometimes just take that under my eye as well that will also keep your mascara from transferring i'm gonna take this shade right here it's called adobe oh my god these blend like a damn dream you know what i'm just gonna stop apologizing for the sounds outside my window anymore because if i keep apologizing for them it's just gonna be 15 minutes straight of me apologizing so this really could be done right now like that's how beautiful these shades are which you know in an everyday situation this is probably the most i would do but i want to show you a few other shades in here so anyway so back to mrs fletcher so there's only two episodes up right now and again it's 30 minutes which i love it's very short and sweet. I don't love it as much as I love Dick, but it's it's pretty close second runner up. Again, she's playing just such a real person. It's basically about this woman who's divorced. Her son goes off to college. Her son is a total douchebag, just like everything we're trying to protect our daughters from. She also works at a senior center and oversees that. And that's actually a really sort of touching fascinating, relevant storyline because sort of making a commentary on, you know, what do we do with our aging parents in this society and how do we treat them? And it's a very difficult topic and I really appreciate how they're handling it. So I don't know, it's an interesting show. I'd say if you're looking for something new, give it a whirl. Okay, well, those shades are stunning. I'm just gonna get intense today and I'm going to use this shade Sierra. It sort of looks like this plummy cool tone brown but we'll see i'm using the same brush for all of this like i'm i'm lazy and i have like a million brushes but this brush is so good and i'm literally going from lightest to darkest shades so it doesn't really matter if i use the same brush i mean i don't think it does Okay, so now I'm going to pull out that metallic and I'm going to go in with Mirage. Really gorgeous, yummy, bronzy gold shade. And it's so fine. That's the thing I love about it. It's not chunky. What the hell, alter ego? What in the actual hell is going on here? I feel like I'm using a $60 palette right now. Now I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just blend all of that so there are no hard lines. It's literally my favorite easiest trick ever is to just use a clean brush to blend everything in. It really is just like a magic wand. I'm gonna take Raven right here. That is the darkest chocolate brown and I'm just going to ever so slightly just take that and do the outer V of my eye just to kind of accentuate and deepen. So I'm doing a more sort of intense Hence, you know, dramatic eye look today, but this palette totally lends itself to an everyday look as well. There are at least four of these shadows in here that I could do like a one and done situation with. I can't believe how little fallout there is from all these shadows I'm using. I'm just gonna go back in with that clean brush 
and just blend those edges out. You guys know I'm not like the biggest eyeshadow palette person. I'm not over here doing like seven eyeshadows every day, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the most successful I felt doing eyeshadows on camera. Oh, Last step, we're going to use one of these shadows as a liner. I am pulling out my BK Beauty 204. And the reason I'm pointing out this particular brush um, is because it's perfect for a look like this. This is a great way to smoke out your eyes in a really blended, subtle way. This is a great application tool. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of the BK Beauty brushes and Lisa just came out with a couple more. I'm always going to put my BK Beauty code down below. It's kind of changed the game for me in terms of using eyeshadow as eyeliner. So I'm going to spritz my brush with my all nighter setting spray and I am going to go in with the deepest shade in this palette, which is called Mesa, which is an amazing charcoal gray shade. This can be smudgy and messy. You know what I mean? We're going for like a very French, eyeliner situation. Like French women just like throw some shit on their eyes and it somehow looks okay because they're smoking a cigarette and having a croissant. I know that not all French people do all those things at one time, but still, if you do, you look great doing it. I love using this dark granite shade instead of pure black. I just think it is Soy sexy. We're taking it all the way down. I'm gonna line my other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished up lining the eyes and I'm gonna go back in with that sans shade and I'm gonna just do my brow bone with that and also just again kind of go over any hard lines. We just don't, we just don't want the hard lines. You know what I mean? Like that is just not a good look. Okay, so now we're gonna finish this off and look a little bit less like Marilyn Manson. Curling the lurches, gonna add some mascara. Another show that I just started watching is Watchmen on HBO, which Randy had to twist my arm to watch it because I thought it was gonna be superhero-y and I wasn't into the thought of that. However, I love it. Regina King is a badass. Also, Don Johnson is in it. I'm sorry, I did not even know for like 10 minutes I was watching Don Johnson. It's like one of those things where I was looking at him and I was like, wow, that man looks like Don Johnson, but he's so serious and intense and such an incredible dramatic actor. That's, that's not Don Johnson. It's Don Johnson. I knew it the minute he flashed a smile, I was like, oh my God, Miami Vice, Don Johnson. He is so good in this series, y'all. And by the way, I am using my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. So it's not actually that superhero-y. It's pretty much about, well, it's about a lot of things. It's actually very political, but it's it's very much about white supremacy. I'm super into it. I think it is well done. I think it's fascinating. I don't know what's gonna happen next. It is not what I thought it was gonna be. Little did you know when I brought up Watchmen that I was gonna bring up two sort of 80s icons, one of them being Don Johnson, the other one being Jean Smart from Designing Women. Now, you might say Jean Smart wasn't an icon. Well, she was to me. I freaking love Jean Smart and I also love that she made this like insane comeback in the last decade. I saw that in upcoming episodes, she's gonna be like a major player in Watchmen. And I was watching it with Randy and I was like, Designing Women. And he's like, right. And I was like, but should we watch an episode though? And he was like, okay. All I'm saying is get yourself a boyfriend who's willing to watch Designing Women with you. If I had to be a combination of two characters from Designing Women, I would be Julia Sugarbaker and Charlene because I can get very impassioned and hot and spicy when something sets me off. However, I feel like who I really am at heart is Charlene. She's just really naive, which I can be very naive. She's also a tall lady, which I love. So final thoughts on this palette. I'm obsessed. I know I've already said it, you're getting the vibe that I'm in love with it, but I can't say enough. I don't know why you would spend, you know, $50 or more on a palette when you could just buy this and basically get the same quality for less. I don't know, just saying. Now I'm gonna move on to bronzer. This is my Benefit Hula bronzer. I'm almost out because it's so well loved. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is my MAC Peaches blush, an oldie but a goodie. 
Okay, perfect. And then we're moving on to lips. So we're gonna just drive all of this home with a very dramatic lipstick. This is Diva by MAC. I'm going to use my Glam 35 Age and Inspire Ultimate Lip Base. So I just put it on, let it set for 30 seconds. I'm actually gonna use a much lighter shade to line my lips. This is kind of a pinky nude. It's called Dervish from MAC. You can always line your lips with a nude. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter how dramatic your lipstick is. I take it back. I'm actually liking this by itself. Okay, so we're just keeping this lip and we're gonna put a gloss over it because I actually think it is perfect with the eye look. It has some color and sort of a warmth to it, but it's also subtle. I'm going to go over that with my ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Let It Happen. Last but not least, highlighter. Can't forget highlighter. I am going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Gorge. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. Do you like it? Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my chatty get ready with me. I hope you had a fun time. Please do follow me on Instagram because that's going to let you know when my next live feed is dropping. Also, if you could click that notification bell right underneath this video, that is going to notify you anytime one of my videos drops. Also, don't forget that if you do want to try Alter Ego yourself, there is a code down below that is going to get you 10% off of your entire purchase. Alter Ego Sahara palette, good job. Mm. Okay, bye.